Hello coders, Synthetic Programming here with another video for you guys today, and today we are going to be making a Julia set generator. For those of you who don't know what a Julia set is, it's a really cool mathematical concept, and there's some really great videos on YouTube about it. Um, I'll link one in the description, probably from Numberphile. Uh, it's just a really cool thing, and it generates these really cool picture fractal images, and so I'm going to just help you guys to learn how to program one today. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start in our project by making a new Python file, and we're just going to make one, so we'll call it main. And in main, for this project, you're going to need the library NumPy. So the first thing we do is we import oh, NumPy, like this. Uh, so NumPy is a library that you can look up tutorials on how to get. Uh, it's a really good library, and once you have NumPy, you can do lots of cool stuff. So we're going to start our function here. Uh, we'll define generate Julia set, like this. Uh, actually, we'll just call it generate Julia, like so. Generate Julia. And here we are going to make a little comment, and the comment is just going to say generates a Julia set, like that. Perfect. So now we can actually start writing our code. So the first thing we're going to do to make it look pretty is we are going to print, and what are we going to print? A bunch of equal signs. I love doing this uh, in my programs, I just think it makes it look way, way nicer. So after that we're going to need some inputs. First input is going to be W, and W is going to be the integer version of our input where we ask for we're going to say enter the width of the image so that's where you put in the width then we're going to do one that's h it's also an integer of the input that says enter the height of the image like this and after that we are going to make a variable called f f is going to be equal to a float input and the float input is going to say uh, we need the float input because this is going to be a decimal we're going to say enter a number between zero and one and then in parentheses just so the people who are using it know we can say um, like 0 0.75 just something random uh, just so they know okay there we go the last input we are going to need is the name input like that name input and that's going to equal the input uh, and the input is going to be enter, let's use double quotes, enter the name of the output file, of the, we'll say of the file. Um, a good name is output. I'll put that in, I'll put that in single braces so we can actually use it like that. A good name is output. Okay, like that. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our inputs done. Next, we're going to start actually writing the code. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make something called remin. Remin is going to equal negative 2.0, like that. Then we have remax. That is going to be equal to 2.0. Next up, we have the im min, which is going to equal negative 2.0, and im max, which is going to be equal to 2.0. Again, perfect. Awesome. So now, next thing we do is we say that name is going to equal the string of the name input. Oh, name input like that string of name input and what are we going to do to that we are going to add 
the little phrase .pgm. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because that is, our, that is our file extension. So we're making a PGM file. Okay, a PGM is a kind of image file. Uh, okay, so after that, we are going to do C equals complex, like this, complex. Um, and in complex, we are going to do 0, 0.0 comma F. Okay, and remember F is that number that we entered that's between 0 and 1, right? So C is going to be equal to that complex number. Now we have real range, and real range is equal to numpy. This is where we start using numpy dot arrange, like this. Oh, sorry, arrange, and we're arranging remin, right? Uh, remax. Uh, then we need in parentheses re max like this minus re min uh, and then that whole thing is going to be divided by w w remember is the width that we put in uh, then we actually take this whole thing this, this real range thing we're going to take copy it enter paste like that this is going to be imaginary so the imaginary range sorry what did I do wrong hmm okay we'll just call it image range like instead of imaginary range image range so that's going to be the i am min the i am max change these to i am as well and we're actually going to make this now the height so h perfection okay cool we can actually space this out so it looks a little better cool so now that we've done that we're going to say that the output, we can do a little space, output is going to be equal to open, like this, uh, name in W mode. W mode means that it'll like delete the file if it exists and just start writing from scratch. Um, it, it's like it makes a clean file. So now we are going to say that output dot right I guess uh, we're gonna do okay so output dot right this is where it gets a little weird we're going to do p2 slash n and make sure it's the correct slash n because we're trying to uh, do a space there we're trying to make a uh, line like a new line uh, space Julia Sorry, Julia set image like that. Uh, and then we're going to do another backslash n like that. So here we have that. Then we do plus. Uh, we're adding the string of the w. And then we're doing plus a space plus um, the string of height plus another space uh, actually sorry no not another space uh, inside here we are actually going to do slash n 255 slash n just like that okay so this is going to be the interesting little line now this is just the header information for the file we're making um, it doesn't really matter why we're doing it just just do it it's important um, okay so after that now we actually have to fill the image with stuff. So we're going to say for im in image range, like that, right? Um, so here, let me change this actually to image, like that, and then this to image range, like that. OK, perfect. So for I am in image range, for re in real 
range like that. Uh, now we are going to do z equals complex of re and m like that. Uh, so that's our z, and then n is going to be equal to 255, right? And uh, while the absolute value of z is less than 10 and n is greater than or equal to 5 right um, now we are going to say z equals z squared so z times z um, plus c we can actually space that out a little, just like that. Okay, perfect. So z is equal to z times z plus c. n is going to minus equal 5. So you're going to be taking away uh, the value. It starts at 255, and you're going to be slowly taking it away until uh, you get to the right place. That's just going to take the pixel. 255 is white, and as you take away more and more, it gets closer to black. Okie doke. So now we say output dot write, right? Output dot write, and what do you think we're going to write? We're going to do the string of n plus a space like that. Awesome. After that, output. We got to go one tab back. Output dot write uh, a new line like this. Cool. Awesome. Uh, after that, we do output dot close. Oh, I just messed up our little brackets there. They're not going to be happy. And uh, after you do output dot close, you say print. We can actually do a space just so you can see the difference. Print um, created photo. Uh, and then we're going to actually add the name variable. So now we, we created the photo name. So it'll tell us. And now we can actually take all of our beautiful, beautiful equal signs and we are going to copy them right into there. After that, we are going to come out of here and say generate Julia, just like this. Okay. So that is the entirety of our, our little guy here. Uh, this is our, our function. There it is very pretty. Let's test it out and see if it works. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run main. Here it is. It says enter the width of the image. Okay, so let's do um, 1080. We'll do 720. So that's going to be our height. It's going to be 720. And then we pick a number. Uh, so I'm going to say 0 0.82. Actually, let's do 0 0.78. That's a nice one. Okay, so we'll do 0 0.78, and we're going to call it example. Okay, so remember when you're typing the name, you just type a word, and then it's going to add the extension. So don't worry about typing the extension; just type a name. So the name for this is example. So I will hit enter. It'll take a little bit. It's right now processing. It's making our image. It's creating it. It says done. So it says created photo example.pgm. Now if we come up here, it's created an image, example.pgm. And if I click on it, this is what it looks like. And wow, is that pretty. Oh my god, look at that. That's so cool. So that is our fractal image that you just generated with this function that we wrote. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Ethan with Synthetic Programming. Please rate, comment, subscribe, check out our website. Links are in the description. Thank you to all of our patrons on Patreon. And without further ado, have a nice day.